Hi, Paul here, Smart Home Sunday, tinkering once again. If you've been following along this journey so far, well, you would know I've been looking at adaptive lighting. I'm going to continue that in the coming weeks. However, today I really needed to think and I wanted to share with you what I plan to achieve with Home Assistant and the Philips Hue lighting system in our home. Because there's a few ways you could go about it. So one idea is you could have a USB Zigbee dongle plug straight into Home Assistant, and then all you need to do is, well, you talk directly to the smart light globes, like the Philips Hue light globes. However, I'm not going to do that. Let me show you why and explain to you why. I plan to have both the systems independent. So let's have a look. Here we have Home Assistant Blue, and yes, I have Philips Hue light globes in the house. Now at the moment, I also have a Philips Hue hub. And of course, that Philips Hue hub is plugged into a router. And so we have, there we go. It's plugged in. Right, so of course, in normal operation, the hub is talking to the light globes and those light globes, bing, turn on. That's great. And a lot of the time in our house, at the moment, the way we control our lighting is using our phone. I'm not gonna continue with this. It's, it's not the greatest. And the reason is that it's just, well, you don't have your phone with you all the time and it's just annoying. I mean, the app's great, it's nice, it's quite good to set up rooms and zones and add new lights and build a scene, but it just gets tiresome if you wanna turn a light on and you have to reach for your phone every time. So we do have one physical switch in the house at the moment, but the plan is to add a bunch more. For example, there is a very nice Friends of Hue light switch from Nico. Uh, I'm hoping to, well, when budget allows, get some of these into the house. Uh, these are, they don't even have a battery in them. Very nice. And with this kind of system, what's good is that the switch talks directly to the Philips Hue hub, which then in turn talks to the light globe. Now why that's important and that's good? Well, let me tell you, in our house at the moment, a couple of times our router has decided to, well, not blow up, but stop working. And in that case, we have been, um, well, kind of left in the dark or left in the light because the mobile on Wi-Fi tries to connect to the router to then tell the Philips Hue Hub what to do. But if the router's not working, well, you don't have control of your lights. So that's not so good. It makes the phone not a very good way to manage lights in the house. And Home Assistant Blue is also plugged into that same router. And that is of course how you then control the lighting system at home with Home Assistant. So Home Assistant if the router falls over, well, the same problem. You're not gonna be able to control your lights. Now, if you went down the path of the USB dongle approach in Home Assistant Blue, well then yes, that dongle would talk directly to lights and turn on. But if Home Assistant also happened to uh, blow up, well then you can't control your lights. And in that case, I'm not quite sure I want to have Home Assistant as the absolute essential item needed to be running always to control lights. But I want Home Assistant to assist. I don't want it to run the lights. I just want it to send the occasional command that's useful and leave the Philips Hue smart light system to run independently with physical switches on the wall telling those Zigbee light globes what to do. So that's what I'm going to do. And that means that as I start to look at some of the adaptive lighting solutions and some of the smart automated things I can do with lighting, I need to keep this same philosophy in mind. So at no point do I want an essential element of any of the lighting to be relying 100% 
on Home Assistant Blue. Well, maybe this was useful. What have you got in your home? Or what are you thinking of doing? Would love to know. Please tell me. More adaptive lighting on the way next week. Now that I've got this sorted, it's clear in my mind. I know what the end goal is. Now I can go forward. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.